Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The Foot Centurions promo on FIFA 23 started yesterday as a big L, and it also started with an EA mistake because they had to change or upgrade some of the ratings on the cards they released because they made a mistake in their initial post and in their initial release of the cards. I want to talk about that and how those upgrades actually impacted the market and made prices move. And today's a big day on Saturday, not for content, but for potentially what could happen to the market. I'm not trying to get you guys scared about the team of the year market crash, but I'm just saying where we are at right now in this game, getting closer and closer, three days away from team of the year voting, we're getting close. So could there be a bit of a market downturn even as soon as today? We'll talk about that and what to expect on a Saturday of this Foot Centuries promo. And I also just want to take a look as what to expect during this promo. EA laid it all out for us and what they're going to do in this next two weeks because this is a two-week promo. So let's take a look at that and everything else that's going on in this game. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, all the good stuff there. Let's start from the top, right? So yesterday, and a lot of you guys are probably feeling this way, this Foot Centuries promo just doesn't feel that great especially when we saw them tweet this graphic yesterday with the cards on it we saw the stats we were like oh my goodness this promo looks abysmal right the stats don't look that good the player selection is okay there's some cool cards in here but we at first saw it and we were like oh my gosh this looks absolutely terrible but of course what we learned really quick was these stats were not 100 percent correct because when you go in game this footbin still shows trent alexander arnold is having 86 pace right as you saw in the opening menus here it also shows that but if you click into his card and this is probably going to be fully upgraded and fixed up today all around everywhere on the game he has 90 pace and if you looked at the in-game stats right away at the start of the game yesterday when these cards were first put in packs he had 90 pace but his pace stat on the face of the card still showed 86 so that is what a lot of people are referring to as the upgrade right ea actually didn't upgrade these cards they had the correct stats inside the card the whole time it was just the front of the card showing the pace stat as 86 that was incorrect but of course as they said and they actually tweeted this out a couple hours uh, prior to them fixing this they said we have addressed an issue where some of the face attributes were appearing lower than intended this was visual only and not did not impact the in-game performance so the couple of cards that were messed up right alexander arnold is going from 86 pace to 90 pace he gets plus two shooting, plus two dribbling, or plus two, sorry, plus two defense, plus one physical. Kempembe actually has 85 pace. Uh, and then Jamie Vardy has 90 pace, 90 shooting. And I think like Milner has a small upgrade. Jordi Alba has 90 pace. It's kind of crazy, right? They messed up like five or six cards. And a lot of them, they messed up the pace stats. So actually, if you go into the menus, it's kind of funny here because you can see the correct stats on these cards, right? Jordi Alba, 90 pace, 90 pace and shooting on, on um, Jamie Vardy. Footbin has them incorrect right now. So look at the in-game stats not at the footbin one uh, but that was just kind of crazy yesterday because when they upgraded those and when they tweeted that out you saw cards like Trent and Kempembe actually go up a lot in price because people were like oh my goodness these cards got upgraded they look so much better but again like we said it technically was not an upgrade it was just an EA visual mistake but it did move the market a bit and it was pretty crazy that was one of the honestly the most craziest things that happened yesterday now in general like we said this Centurions promo it just it's okay right when you look at the promo team right now yes you've got a really cool Ben Yedder you've got a cool Neymar you've got a Trent Alexander-Arnold that might be a top two top three right back in the Premier League of course Kyle Walker is his uh, competition that's a really really hyped card Kempembe with 85 pace is nice. There are some decent cards in this promo team, but what people are not super happy about is the rest of the squad, right? The whole rest of the squad is almost fodder apart from like five players in this team. And we didn't get the cards like the Zlatan, the Marco Royce, or so many of those other players that we were hoping to see inside of this promo that it just seems like this promo is perfect for those cards, right? Again, they didn't even give us detail about what Centurion card is getting an upgrade for like what um, 100 plus barrier they broke or what what they're getting the card for basically so that's kind of a bit of a bummer there but they also laid out the entire promo week for us they said there's going to be the, the official release of course yesterday the mini release will not be today it'll be tomorrow on Sunday for team one team two is going to be launching the 13th next Friday with the mini release on Saturday so uh, this promo is going to take us right up until team of the year and again that's why we think and we were talking about this on stream yesterday that's why we believe that this promo is a bit lackluster and it's a bit kind of 
you know, it's just it's just kind of an L, right? Because that's what EA like to do. We talk about this all the time, time and time and again, is that EA has to kind of rock with the, the ebbs and the flows in this game, right? They have to make you really excited sometimes, and they also have to make you feel like you're missing out because if they make you really excited all the time, then you're always going to have your expectations lifted higher and higher. And right now, EA wants to disappoint us a little bit. Even though it sucks, right? EA wants to disappoint us so that we can get excited again for Team of the Year coming in a couple weeks, and then they can put out good content, and then it can be like, oh, wow, Team of the Year is sick, right? That sort of thing. So that's kind of why this promo, this is honestly, it's a filler promo is what it is, and it sucks because... This is such a good promo idea that could have incredible, incredible cards, and it feels like this is a wasted opportunity. But a lot of people are not happy with this promo, and I completely understand. But there is redemption. Technically, there's a second week, and there's still some cool cards out, right? I mean, nonetheless, not that these cards are absolutely insane, but they are pretty cheap. And that's the next thing I want to talk about is this promo team is supplied a lot. I think EA got a lot of people to open packs yesterday. We were talking about this in the stream as well. I think they got a lot of people to open packs because they threw a Neymar, a Ben Yedder, a, um, a Kempembe, and a Trent Alexander-Arnold. Guys that have not had special cards this year or really usable ones, getting some pretty sizable boosts, putting them into this promo team with some nice cards, and then they supplied a lot of lightning rounds, and I think they got a lot of people to open packs. They also, again, are dropping these store packs. So we saw two of the like extra store packs yesterday, the Team of the Week reboot pack, which is untradeable, and then the Centurions Essentials pack. This one actually impacted the market a lot. In the middle of that kind of stat upgrade whole fiasco thing, Trent Alexander-Arnold was like 260, 250,000 coins uh, as people were buying his card out. I think it was like the third hour, um, the second or third hour after the promo, his price was like 250, 260. And um, that pack got released. And I'm not even kidding you, within 20 or 30 minutes, Trent went from 250 down to 205,000 coins, 210K. Then EA fixed the stats. It showed his 90 pace in game. And his card went back up to about 260, 250, kind of 240 range where he is now. So there was a huge market impact and just a lot of supply in general. When we were looking at these cards yesterday on the market, they were just supplied so much. With Winter Wild Cards, like if this Neymar would have been released as a Winter Wild Card item, I would kid you not, like remember how rare Benzema was last week? I mean, this Neymar would be so much more rare and so much more expensive if this was Winter Wild Cards, I feel, because the pack weight last week was just a lot worse um, and they were just so rare. And these cards seem to be the opposite. They seem to be very supplied and a lot of them on the market, which makes me not want to trade with them that much and also makes me believe that they will probably have some pretty sizable drop-offs in price today. Now, of course, they're going to fluctuate around, right? Neymar was just down to 2.5 mil or 2.5 flat. He's look he's looking like he's rebounding back up right now. You know, if I was somebody that had this card, I would want to sell it, right? Because I think that even though Neymar is a, uh, it's a nice boost over his inform, this card's 700k. This one has a couple more positions, a different dynamic image, and a slight boost, and is 2.6 mil. I just feel like this card and a lot of these other Centurions are going to dip down in price today. Now, some of them, you're like, Nate, how far can they go, right? Kempembe is on the Varan level of stats, and he's already a lot cheaper than him. Uh, I think this promo team has the opportunity, since it is going to be a bit cheaper, Cheaper. And since these cards are pretty cheap, I think it has the opportunity to kind of take the rest of the market down with it, especially if this promo is an L that's going to decrease demand for teams and for gameplay after this weekend league is over and after people finish their games. That's why I really believe, guys, that today could be a pretty, a pretty sizable day for drop offs and price drops on the market as people start to think about team of the year. Now, again, I'm not trying to incite panic and is always tricky around these times of the year because you always think about uh, the, the market crashes and you expect them and you know they're coming. But what it comes down to with these market crashes like every single time is it comes down to what people feel like they should do and in preparation, what people are told to do uh, on when to sell cards and all that sort of thing. And I just feel like we are getting closer and closer to hitting the tipping point, to hitting the edge where that switch kind of flips. We've had a really nice market the past two to three weeks, right? With winter wild cards, there's a lot going on, a lot of gameplay demand. We've had a really, really nice market. All it takes is one or two days for that switch to flip and a, a promo Friday like we had yesterday 
to have a lot of cards start to drop in value. So just be very careful. I'm not telling you to sell. Again, we talked about selling earlier on in the week. The market on most areas is still up a little bit, but some stuff has started to drop just a tiny bit. Again, it just depends uh, on the specific cards you're looking at. Some of the winter wild cards from yesterday are going up in price, right? Andrew Robertson, uh, of course, with Milner and the uh, Trent being dropped yesterday. This guy is up, right? He was 290. He was all the way up to about 330. Right now, he's 330 still. So, you know, a guy like that is up in price. Varane was up a little bit. Um, you know, there were some other cards that dropped down that then bounced back up. All I'm saying is just be careful. I'm going to be pretty liquid today. I have a couple cards that I'm still trying to quick flip and get out of and make a couple little bits of profit on. I picked up a Marquinhos at a stupid low price. This guy was selling at 600 and 30k yesterday and i got one for 520 so if i can get this out for 600k i will be happy but i'm going to be sitting on my coins today and probably be pretty liquid so i'm going to take it easy and not try to do too much on this market today as you see a nice neymar bounce from 255 to 275 i thought about flipping this neymar card but again the supply there i didn't like and i just feel like there wasn't going to be enough profit in it for me to spend 2.7 million coins to try and make 30 or 40 thousand coins you know so I wasn't in it for that one, but I do expect those Centurions to drop off a bit today. They always drop on Saturdays. That's almost always a thing that you see. Now, let's talk about just the content that we saw really quick yesterday because we did have an SBC that moved the market yesterday a lot, and that was this Riyad Mahrez. It was basically exactly as leaked. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot, right wing, the same stats that they were posted. He does have the center attack in mid position, which is nice. And I haven't seen any like uh, reviews. I haven't watched the Inception review on this card yet, but it looks good. Um, it looks very craftable. Mars is always pretty FIFA meta. It's coming in at about 270,000 coins, which fodder is another aspect that we got to talk about really quick. Um, 280, 270K, it's not that bad. A lot of upvotes you can see. And of course, a lot of your Manchester City links are flying especially the rare ones this cancelo yesterday you can see on the graph take a look at this from 380 boom all the way to 450 absolutely exploded some of your other rare ones laporte his uh, world cup stories card was over 400k he went from 380 360 boom all the way to 439 kevin de bruyne special cards the other cancelo inform so a lot of stuff is up in price because of mares that stuff just like we saw with the syria cards that went up on thursday uh, for the SBC Politano, some of that stuff has come down in price, right? Sell into the hype of all these cards exploding, right? Because this Kim Min Jae was like 140, even 150. Now he's back down to 120 because the Mares hype and all of these new promo cards are here. So if you have those city cards, I would want to sell those into the hype um, as well. But that Mares and the base icon player pick yesterday. The base icon player pick actually impacted the market a lot. I mean, I would say that based on what we were thinking in yesterday's video, a lot of it went according to plan, but there was a little bit of extra panic in there in the first, I don't know, let's say the first hour, the first 30 minutes after the content drop. I think so many people went out and did the base icon that that actually caused a bit of a market crash because that SBC refreshed. You had Mares, you had the base icon, and you had people opening packs for the new promo. They were going and doing the base icon, maybe having to sell a couple cards to do that or to buy players to get Mares in their team. There was like a solid 30 minutes of just like pure panic, right? And the, the graph that I can show you because I had one of these myself that kind of summarizes it all was this Bruno Guimaraes. He was 220. I bought one like right here at 200K. He went all the way down to 199 and was even lower than where I bought him at for a little bit. And then he absolutely skyrocketed and exploded. This is a really good picture of what happened to most meta cards on the market yesterday. Um, there was like a little bit of panic in the first hour after content with the new promo cards getting released. And I think that base icon player pick, because again, if you take a look at the popular page on Footbin, what do you see? you see a lot of these base icon players. And that tells me, especially yesterday, right after content, all of these like Hullet, Maldini, Lam, Kaka, like all of these base icons were on the front, front page of Footbin Most Popular, which means that people are doing the icon SBC and they're going and looking at the card that A, they either packed to know how much it is, or B, they wanna know what baby icons they can get. So that use those tips. We talk about the popular page all the time. Use those tips to kind of figure out what people are doing on the game. But that kind of created a whole madness yesterday. So of course, when people are going and doing that SBC, like we talked about in yesterday's video too, I was expecting a slight like spike on fodder for an hour or two and then a drop. And that is honestly kind of what happened. You saw 86 is the index go from 213 points 
all the way to 240. So like 86s yesterday, we're up at like 13K, I think. Look at the graph of Parejo from 11,000 coins all the way to 13,000 coins. Now he's back down to like 11 and 12. Your 87s went up a good amount because I think there's a um, higher rated squad in the base icon. I think it's 8045, right? Actually, Robo, well, Robo's a bad example because he was out of packs as a gold card. Let's look at Verratti. I thought these guys went up yesterday, did they? Yeah, a little bit from like 16K up to about 17, 18. But I think it was like your 85s went up a lot as well. Serge Nabry is 6.9 at the moment. Serge Nabry went from 7K, boom, spiked all the way to 8 and is now back down. So if you sold or if you traded with this um, um, spike at all, you made some good coins there. Uh, and now I would expect to see Fodder getting low throughout the day today on Saturday as well because... Like we said, we've got this Essentials pack that is here that a lot of people are opening. It's only available for, is it available for one day? All right, it's available for the whole weekend. So this is here, but we still have that big 100 players pack, right? We still have the Centurions 100 pack, which is tradable, by the way. Again, this right here does not say untradable, so I'm imagining that it's going to be a tradable pack today. If this drops today, which it very well could, that's going to bring more supply to the market, more supply to your Foot Centurions players, and more supply to your fodder, including silver cards. So watch for fodder to get lower even than it is right now later today because some, some fodder prices still like the 89s, the 90s, and the 91s are still a bit inflated, right? 91 rated cards are still 68K, which is very high. So I think those will hopefully drop off a bit. And people are going to do these packs, man. Look, 26% chance of a Centurions in this 1500 FIFA point fat pack, which if you look at the other packs, right? 80 plus uh, five, 85 plus star player pack, 19% as well, but that's untradeable. So why not open this for 1500 FIFA points for almost the same price FIFA point wise? It's tradable and you have a very high percentage of packing a team of the week or a Centurions card. Yeah, it's going to be crazy if that 100 pack drops today because a lot of people are going to do that one as well. And that's going to keep continuing to impact the market. A couple other things from yesterday. The Ledley King uh, loan moments card there. It's free. You can go get it for zero moment stars. So you don't have to have any stars to get him. I believe his price range is mixed, mixed up. It's like at 67,000 coins for this card. Obviously, with his stats, he is worth a little bit more than that. I don't think he's worth too much more than like 100,000, 150K, even though he is brand new. But uh, if you go in here and you can see his stats in the store, I'm gonna go claim the loan because I have not done that yet. But you can just go in here and claim it. He's got 80 pace, 89 defense, and 80 physical. So it's not a terrible card. It's not amazing, but seven game loan, you get him for free. That's nice, right? We knew that was gonna be coming today. So that card is now available and there's some more moments in there based around him. So that's kind of cool. We had two objectives yesterday just to run through this stuff really fast too. We had the Gulashi, which honestly does not look that fantastic, um, but you know, it's not terrible. I mean, you just score some goals in rivals or squad battles for a Bundesliga team. That is not a terrible card to just go and craft. And then of course, uh, or not craft, but complete. And then you have a century of goals, which is basically you have to score 100 goals in any game mode. You get some packs. It's not anything super crazy, but like 84 plus, 83 plus, and then at the end, a premium gold players pack. So you got 91 days to do this as well. So they're giving you uh, a lot of time to get that done. But again, I think we just have to be careful in the market today. I think there will be opportunities to trade and to make some coins, but I'm going to be very, very careful with it, guys. I'm not going to be spending a lot of coins today on cards that I think could drop off a lot. And honestly, I think a, a good amount of the market could drop off today, but there's still weekend league demand. So it's going to be really, really tough to see where the market goes. But we're just going to have to watch out for it, right? We're going to have to keep an eye out and see what the pulse of the market is today because that will in turn give us kind of an idea of where the market is going to head later on. Now, last thing I want to say and talk about really quick is the World Cup icons uh, have been updated. So EA said that it might take a long time to fix this. Like it only took six weeks, right? Shout out Clovenetti. Um, you know, these these cards took a while to update. So your Drogba is no longer going to look like Maldini uh, and your players are no longer going to have the, in the incorrect in-game player faces. So watch out with that stuff there. Uh, if you have one of those in your team, I don't think that makes them any more or less desirable for say, but they are now corrected in game. So good luck with your weekend leagues. Good luck if you're grinding this weekend. And uh, I know that this promo kind of takes a bit of hype away from the game. I completely understand that. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below because there are some really cool cards a part of this promo as well. And don't get your hopes up for a player SBC today unless we have a leak because I really feel like it might be a quiet Saturday of content because 
I, we just came out of winter wild cards promo that's got daily player SBCs. I don't believe that's a part of the Centurions promo. So it's going to seem in total like EA is pulling it back and the content is just not going to be as amazing for the next couple of weeks. But we're going to start talking about team of the year soon and that's going to build the hype as well in its own way. So it's just kind of the calm before the storm, I guess you could say. So we're going to weather that storm and get right through it. And at least there's still a decent amount to do this weekend on this game. So again, if you did enjoy the video, smash thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have questions and subscribe if you're new. Have a good weekend. It's been Nathan Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.